today is going to be a little bit of reflection and I'm going to ask you guys some really tough questions here but I think we have to ask these questions in order to really move our businesses forward and so it's all about self-awareness today is all about self-awareness so I'm going to ask you some self-awareness questions today because you have got to answer to you and really you don't have to answer to anybody else um, I say that but I always encourage you to set goals with your family and things like that so maybe you do have to answer to your family but these are self-awareness questions that can be that can be tough that can be really really tough for example if you guys invested a hundred thousand dollars into your business would your level of effort and energy be different than it is now now I want you to think about that because sometimes I think it's a crutch that it costs so little to get started in our business and sometimes people use that as, as an excuse right so if you guys invested a hundred thousand dollars into your business would your energy level and your effort be different than what it is right now and I'm assuming all of you are sitting and listening to this right now going well Steve of course it would be different you know I'm guessing 99.99 percent of you would answer that question of course of course it would be different and then I would come right back to you and say why what what why would it be more you know your potential is the same no matter how much you invest but the question and and I guess the reality of it is is that well you're thinking to yourself well I'd be more motivated to get my money back you know the money that I did invest into the business and a hundred thousand dollars is a pretty darn big investment so you're sitting there going well Steve if I invested that kind of money my effort level would be different because I need to go get that money back okay that tells me that you think more like an employee than an entrepreneur here's another question if you bought a Dairy Queen restaurant all right and you got everything looking perfect and there's some cost there's some cost in in opening up your own Dairy Queen not only do you have to pay for the logo rights but you have to build a building you've got to get some land you've got to get some inventory you've got to hire some employees but all, all of that sounds like a mess doesn't it if you owned a, uh, a Dairy Queen restaurant and the first customer that came up to the window said I hate your ice cream I this could be like the worst ice cream on the planet do you close up shop and walk away at that point no you sweep the sidewalk a little bit harder you make sure that everything's nice and neat and you're waiting for the right customers to come to the window because you've got some big money invested in that right well here's another one here's another self-awareness question how much would you pay someone to do what you've done the last 30 days oh that's a dagger that one's a dagger how much would you pay someone to do what you've done over the last 30 days and if the answer is not much then you can't expect to earn very much here's a brutal question would you hire you for the work that you've done over the last 30 days it's like oh Steve you're killing me man these questions are tough but we have to ask them and I think these are the questions that you guys have to ask yourself ask yourself these questions like every day and I know things come up every day where you can't work your business you know hard every single day because things come up but would you hire yourself for what you've done over the last 30 days or the last seven days or the last three days guys if you're going to be an entrepreneur you have got to face these kinds of questions you know you have to kind of examine where you are with your skills your mindset you know the strategies that you have the commitment that you're making to this business the passion that you have the consistency 
That's a huge one right there. It's just being consistent. How about being persistent? And everything else that is required in being an entrepreneur. You can't just cross your fingers and, and hope for the best. You guys got to be aware of kind of where you're at and where you need to go. You know, when you decide that you, when you guys decided to get in business like this, decide to get in business with your eyes wide open. Because when your eyes are wide open, you have the ability to solve problems. And a lot of times, especially in this particular business, we, we compare our success to the success of others. And that can be the kiss of death as well. I remember when I would go to events, when I first got involved in, the, in this profession, I would go to events and I would watch people walking across that stage making more in a month than I made in a year. And I would talk to people who had been in the business less time than I had been and they're making twice as much money as I'm making. And I'd, I'd walk away from those events completely depressed. I'd sit there and go, what, what are these people doing that I'm not doing? And, and, I, and I would do that. I would compare my success to the success of other people. And then when I finally realized that they were just doing more of what I was already doing, it made it pretty darn easy. It, pretty, it made it really easy for me to catch them. Because instead of doing one business presentation a month, I start doing one a day. And then I start doing two a day. Then I start doing three a day. And it's like, I didn't have to learn anything. I just had to do more of what I was already doing. So guys, don't compare yourself to the success of others. Compare yourself to the goals that you set for yourself. But these self-awareness questions have to be asked. They have to be asked. If you invested all that money, what if it cost you, what if it cost you $100,000 to start your super patch business? With all the potential that we've talked about, it's a heck of a lot more potential than, than a Dairy Queen restaurant. I guarantee you guys, we got people in this business making a heck of a lot more money than McDonald's owners, McDonald's restaurant owners. And they don't have to worry about any of the headache. And so instead of throwing up $2 million just to buy that yellow M that you put in your parking lot, not including the land, not including the, the building, not including all the employee headaches that you have, this thing costs you under a grand maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe 1200 bucks, let's say, if you get the big kit. And the potential is bigger than anything that I've talked about so far on here. Why would you not put that type of effort into it? You guys have got a chance to set yourself up, your kids up, your grandchildren up for life financially. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? You know, when I go out there and I share this, and we had a great meeting yesterday afternoon at my favorite office building, McDonald's. Yep, it's the greatest place to meet because everybody knows where they are. You know, people there were so excited to hear about this thing. And then we do a big Zoom meeting, you know, last night. We have 35 people on this Zoom. You know, tornadoes going over our houses and people are still jumping on the Zoom. It didn't matter. And a bunch of people enrolled from that. It's like, this isn't work. I don't have to worry about somebody not showing up and, and running their shift. I don't have to worry about inventory and all that stuff that goes with it. And I have a bigger, the return can be so much bigger than anything in traditional business. It's like, come on, you guys, what are we waiting for? And if you're slow in building it, ask yourself these questions. Who would hire you? And when you talk in those terms, it's pretty scary, isn't it? And if you say, you know, and if, and if, if some of you are just brushing this off, like, oh, well, Steve, you don't know me. It's like, that's fine. Then, then you don't want this as bad as maybe I think you do. And that is fine too, because we're all individuals. We're all ind independent. N nobody has a boss in this business. Nobody has a boss. Okay. And you can choose to follow if you want to. But I'm just pointing out the opportunity is so much bigger than any of us think. And sometimes we have to smack ourselves in the head 
to realize it. So make sure that you ask these self-awareness questions often just to keep yourself on track.